Thank you very much for passing me the floor. Uh, I promise I'll be brief. I saw a couple of you were yawing already, uh, so don't worry. I have to also apologize for being a bit chaotic because I've seen today so many presentations and ideas uh, which are now melting in the forge and the forge is my brain and my brain is a very simple one. Uh, so I would really appreciate some extended cloud capacity from Amazon right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, be, I'll show you some experience from Vistochina as the partner which was re responsible for coordination and management of pilot actions. And uh, yes, I have to start here and stop here and uh, say that the whole D-Line approach uh, is a example of collective decision making and of collaboration and I have to thank to all the partners and as well to the commission uh, which make it possible uh, because that was something absolutely absolutely splendid and uh, if I give an example we are from different backgrounds, socials, uh, social background and political background and for instance we search in our region uh, was founded 12 years ago uh, and if we compare this to the Welsh region or Wales uh, which emerged very in a very evolutionary way uh, from the devolution process in the Great Britain and the UK so this experience is, was quite uh, uh, fruitful for us to see the different stages of cooperation and of work as well. Uh, I will show you this picture which actually describes something which Herbert already said, but I want to stop uh, at the process of exchange of experience, uh, which was during the, during the designing of our pilots and during the pilot realization, as we had already seen this picture, uh, but this one will show you much more that uh, the process of uh, of transferring knowledge was quite a long one as the f initial stage was that we did peer review which was based basically on uh, online cooperation we shared a couple of ideas and uh, then we set certain questions and certain areas of interest then we went or we sent our stuff to uh, Wales and they spent almost a week in Wales watching and observing the e-crime, Welsh e-crime and uh, that was something unbelievable for us as uh, we not only brought their employees of the regional authority but as well policemen and uh, the representative of, uh, of uh, prosecution so we, we had the opportunity to uh, share the knowledge across the region, not only inside the regional authority. And what I want to stress here are conclusions and success factors which, uh, which we gathered from all partners. And these came from, these came from these uh, staff exchanges and from the pilot action realization. And I won't read them all, but I want to somehow summarize them and I want to say that, uh, first of all, if you even try to think about uh, collaboration, you have to step back and stop thinking about uh, the digital way or the technical way or how to do it, but you have to go back to yourself and to, and to make sure that you know your territory. Uh, you have to know if your proposal is um, mature enough and the region, if the region is ready enough to, uh, to accept such a proposal of collaboration. Uh, you have to uh, consider the relevance for the region, if that is really something possible or uh, necessary. You have to get political support. I think someone mentioned this uh, also as well today, uh, that if you have uh, regional or national authority behind you, uh, 
uh, you will align to the strategies and policies which, which the region uh, has already implemented. You will be much more easily uh, allowed to, or you will, you will uh, it will be much easier for you to make it possible. As well, if if you if your region is not uh, hasn't hasn't yet uh, considered something in its strategy, it's absolutely crucial to come to the decision makers to inform them and to uh, convince them that this is something they should they should uh, support. And the last one. Uh, you have to make sure that you have experience management. Uh, you have to coordinate different stakeholders, and it's really important to to make an re make a research in your region or territory, and to find all the initiatives which are almost uh, similar to your, and to bring them on board, and to bring uh, as many actors from different uh, fields on board as well. Uh, so uh, you have to as well when talking about management, uh, we think that it was really crucial if you, if you involved in this process something like uh, co-responsibility, uh, that you involved all the partners, all the stakeholders in the process of digital collaboration and they were co-responsible, so you didn't have to deal with the different level of their involvement, as you may, a lot of, in many times you have to f face that some of the people uh, eventually f will finish with, uh, with idea that, that is useless and they will not cooperate anymore. So if you, if you start with co-responsibility, it will be much easier to, to you. That would be all.